Thank you, Todd. Keep on getting out of the Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to Texas travel and experiences all over the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and when it comes to getting a haircut, they're usually pretty routine, especially when you got a mop like mine. Getting a little off the sides, maybe trimming up the top, or getting that nice straight razor shave, or in my case, a beard trim. Well, it's pretty nice to do that every once in a while. But when you can come across a barber shop with some history, well, that just makes it that much more interesting. That was exactly the case in Conroe when we came across a barber shop that's been open for over a century. Just off the square in Conroe, Leon Apostolo takes a little off the top while talking off someone's ear. This is the old part of Conroe right here. Leon's been in this building for a long time and he's carrying on a tradition that's as unique as having a good hair day during a humid afternoon in July. Barber's been good to me. For five decades, Leon's had a chair to call home at Shepherd's Barbershop, but he didn't take over this business till 2013. So was this your first job then? Yes sir, I went to Barber College when I was 16, and I started working here on August 1st of 1978. This is the only barbershop I ever worked at. How much were haircuts? When I, when I started working here, haircuts were like $4. Now, even before Leon was a budding barber, Shepherds had a long history, longer than some of the hair it saw in the 60s. It's part of Conroe's history. You see, Shepherds has a very unique distinction. They classify as the oldest continuous barbershop in Texas. What's it like to have that distinction? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Built in 1912, this building has been home to a bunch of barbers, but only five of them have owned the place. Leon bought it from his old boss, Bob Shepard, a few years back. He was kind of like a second dad to me. Spent all my life in this shop, five days a week. I came to this barbershop one uh, haircuts of 75 cents. So it's been a while. Henry and his brother Roy Harris both used to come to town from Cut and Shoot to get haircuts here many, many moons ago. That's right, Roy Harris. He, he, well, they got their haircut and they sent their knee high to the grasshopper. Coming back in here, make you guys feel young again? I don't know about the young again, but it makes you feel at home. I've seen lots of barbers in the, my lifetime, and he's about as good as any I've ever seen anywhere. Both brothers went on to have careers in boxing, and Roy excelled, facing off with Floyd Patterson in the World Heavyweight title back in 1958, and even made it to the cover of Sports Illustrated. You can guess where he got his haircut, but there was a time when Roy decided to skip out on his trip to Shepherds. Kind of funny, when he got married, he decided one day he'd just get his wife to cut his hair. Well, she didn't know anything about cutting hair. So about after a couple of hours, he called me and I didn't know nothing about cutting hair either, but we, we give Roy a haircut. Me and his wife give him a haircut that one time. But <laughs> after that, he started to come back here. <laughs> People always seem to come back. Guy come out of the day, he's 42 years old. He said, you gave me my first haircut. I said, he had gray beard. I said, no way. He said, oh yeah, there's a way. He says, I promise you. He says, how long have you been? I said, I've been here 40 years. He said, I'm 42. You gave me my first haircut. I said, you know what? You got a point. I said, you just made me feel a lot older. <laughs> he said, you cut my dad's hair and now you're cutting my son's hair. Wow. Well, but, you look good for your age. Well, thank you. I guess uh, barber work isn't too it, stressful. Not, not too bad. Not yeah. too bad. For Leon, there's so much more to it than just a simple haircut. What is it about this place? What brings people in and keeps them coming? I think it's like there's nostalgia, the old-fashioned haircuts. You don't, you don't, you come in here, you don't feel rushed. Just a personal attention. You don't. People don't get personal attention anymore. People miss that. People are craving service. It's an experience. I don't feel like my haircut's finished until I have that hot lather and razor edge. Nothing can get any closer. Oh, they tell you they can get closer with the edgers. Nothing substitutes this right here. You can't beat the old styles. Honestly. Jonathan Aldana is one of the young bucks around here who appreciates this art form. It does make it feel like like a like an older older man, you know, like an older gentleman. Yeah. Old soul. But yeah. Fortunately, Leon has many years left to keep customers looking their best, but in the back of his mind, he knows one day he's going to have to find the heir to his chair. I like to get somebody that that gives a quality haircut, it's got worth ethics that will show up and will not to root in, you know, get established. Is that a problem right now? Is it hard to find that kind of help? It is. It is. Does that threaten the longevity of this business? Barbershops are dying. We're dying breed, aren't they? Barbershops yes, are. Sir, they are. hard to find barbershops. For the more experienced salt and pepper sort of people who've come to this place for a while, it's about the memories. It's very good to get to see some of the friends that we've 
hadn't seen in a long time. It makes you feel warm to see all the pictures in here of the people that you grew up with. But for the younger generation, it's about connecting to the past. If you go anywhere else, it's like, you know, just go get your haircut. That's that's the your main goal to go get to get your haircut. But if you come here, it's like you gain other things, uh, maybe understanding of what what's happened in the past. It's an experience for sure.